Space. The final frontier. Freaking phone! Building skyscrapers in the sky. Run to the house before we die. Hello there, team. What is going on? Seek here. Welcome back to another fantastic episode of Indie Craft. So today, we're gonna be doing a request from Darkness Zero Two, who asked me to build a ship, which I kind of expanded upon. And I was thinking it'd be kind of cool to uh, make the ship from Treasure Planet, because I mean, I know Treasure Planet's not really uh, science fiction, um, but it is kind of like steampunk. And so, at least the movie is. I don't think I've ever read the book that it is based upon. So. And I do apologize for that, but that's what we're going to be doing this episode. So let me grab out a few different flavors of wood here. Uh, we'll grab out maybe these three. I don't think I'm going to use the jungle. Jungle wood doesn't really mix very well, in my opinion. I don't really like how it works with the rest of it. But, you know, maybe maybe on another day. Maybe another day we'll use the jungle wood for something else. But, all right, let's just go save time here. Some fences we're going to need. We're going to need to say white. So if I do a search for white, will just give me all white things? That'd be a really cool feature. You guys should, they should think about that. All right, um, for the sails, how do I want to do this? Let me go ahead and grab out some, where are the wood slabs? All right, let's use the oak slabs here. Maybe instead of the spruce wood, instead we'll use the dark oak wood. I think I might have a better look to it, actually. Um, and then we'll grab out something white for the sails. Let's go ahead and use wool because they are sails. So, if you haven't seen Treasure Planet, it's an animated movie. Uh, it is based off a book, as I mentioned. And it came out probably 10, 12 years ago now. I don't really remember it coming out. It, it may be before my existence even. Uh, but it's it's pretty sweet movie. Not not my favorite of all time, but I do love the art style, uh, granted. So I find it fantastic. So it's been so long since I've watched it, it honestly wouldn't be really fair for me to really express a great opinion on it because, like, I don't know, I've just, I watched it, I know, I just don't remember most of it, so, I don't know, it's, it, like I said, not really the best person to get an opinion on it from, but it, it was pretty great, if I remember right, so, okay, we're gonna kind of make this the curve up on the front of the ship here, alright, we'll do another set like this, and one more up, there we go, and it kind of has, it is a very oddly designed ship, now it's like a pirate ship kind of, but in space, so, uh, it doesn't really have much of a rutter going on, but it is, let's have, to, let's have some action. We'll get some action. So, this is going to be, like, the main center part here of the ship. We'll kind of work it, uh, into a more rounded shape. I'm just kind of looking at a few references off Google Images to kind of spark my memory on exactly how this thing looks. But I don't really remember that well. So, uh, I'm just kind of going, going off eyeball on this here. So, that looks like a pretty accurate shape. Alright, now we got to cut up here. And up again, and whoopsies. Uh, maybe not sharp enough. For me, but well, how do I want to do it? I want to do it like this. So let's try it like that. So, anyways, if you're new to my channel, IndieCraft is a Minecraft building show that I do every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And basically, you guys leave a suggestion in the comment section down below, and I do my best to recreate that um, that suggestion and make it look good in the town that we have. So here's the town down below. You can't really get a good view of how big it is. There's lots of underground things and everything, but uh, each season we have a new town, so, you know, we get we get quite a bit done, to say the least, so, you know, it is it is a pretty pretty darn fun show, to say the least, so, anyhow, we are going to, I don't want to just, we, this needs to come down, I don't really know, I don't have any good shots of how the, the deck looks, so, I, I'm just kind of building this. I'm building the shape out. I'm looking at a, a side view on my screen, basically. And I'm building the shape mostly from that. So let's go ahead and uh, take this out. So I want to do... Uh, let's go ahead and do that. And one, two, one, two. We'll make the mast come out very far. Not the mast. Um, what's that called? My, gosh, my, my ship knowledge has failed me immensely right now. And it just caused me intense embarrassment in the middle of in front of all my friends. All right, there we go. Kind of has like a fancy little curve thing or jigger like that. So I think I'm a jigger. And we'll bring this out. Kind of follow the same shape as down there. 
And actually, let's just go ahead and make it follow the exact curve. Uh, all the builds I do for this show are representative. Like, for instance, that is not an accurate size of the Enterprise right there. But it is uh, a representative size of what the Enterprise could be about. So, you know, I think it looks, I think it works. I like how it looks, so. All right, this the ship is a little more bulky in this, so I'm just going to run this across here. And we're going to kind of, this, this might be a little more winging right here uh, to get this to look good. Uh, what I'm going to have to do is replace lots of this with dark oak because it's actually, this section is quite a bit darker. Right, let's put the, the higher deck here and that out like so. There we go. That is workable, I think. Okay, so now what I need to do is actually give it a little more shape, which is the really tough part of this build. So uh, we'll build the bottom section out. And yeah, let's go ahead and just make this all one wider here. And the bottom section is going to be the regular oak, and then we'll make the top section dark oak uh, around it because it kind of has two different colors going on in the build. So it should look pretty nice. The back is going to stay out, bumped out like this, so we can go ahead. I don't have a good shot available the back. It does like this. It, this is a fancy looking ship. Most of the back is actually glass, but I can't really get that in this build um, because I'm not going to be building an inside. So it's, like I said, representative, but I think you see, I, if, it, if it gets the idea across, if even if you look at it and think, wow, that's a really terrible recreation of the ship from Treasure Planet. I feel like I've accomplished my goal because it, you thought of Treasure Planet. So, you know, it's something, right? So, anyhow, we're actually getting pretty close here on the channel. We're almost done with our Pokemon series, uh, I think, um, from what I can tell. but. I could be wrong about that, of course. I, I don't really know the games that well, so I'm not one of, I'm not a not a good person like other people who have played those games. Like like everyone else in the world, you know, that's played Pokemon their whole life except for me. And you know, I this is my very first Pokemon game. I've played through Pokemon Fire Red on my channel, which if you're interested, I'll try to remember to throw a link in the down in the description below. Don't rely on that. You're probably better off going to my channel, checking out uh, my videos or my playlist, and starting from there. Uh, it. If you're a Pokemon fan, I'll, I'll let you know now. It's a rough start, to say the least. Um, I don't know what I'm doing and for a lot of that series. So, but we're getting pretty near the end, uh, and I got some other ideas for things I'll probably continue on to. Let's actually leave that wood, and we'll run. We'll make the deck part actually wood up here, and then we'll make the side part uh, something different. So the deck kind of comes up in a weird way here. It's not the best slant, but you can't really do a lot with slants like this, so... Let's go ahead, let's make this just flatten out here. This is that hook thing. I want to make sure you can see the hook thing there. And if I make that go up, it, you won't be able to tell it's there. So yeah, we'll make the deck go all the way out to here. and But that'll all be replaced uh, in a bit with different color wood, different types of wood. So, all right, let's bring out this side here in the same way that we brought out the side over there. So anyways, it's about time to get to the question, question of, of the day. day. I need to like cut that out, make it add a bunch of echo to it, give, my, give myself some music, and then some kids cheering, going "Yay!" After after that, uh, I say that that would be that'd be the best. And maybe some like sparkle effects going off the screen. Man, if I if I had money and had an editor, that would be that would be what would be happening. That's all I'm saying. So, all right, it's a pretty narrow ship, so I don't want to bring out too much. In fact, I might just bring out maybe a block or two more on either side because. This is a, it, it's actually a very narrow ship, um, from how it looks, uh, in the pictures. The back part is just so different, how this is made back here. Basically, like, this is actually not very accurate. I might go ahead and bring this up a little higher here. Basically, this, like, spires kind of at the top here. We might just have to do it with a few blocks. Uh, let's kick off the rain here. Um, I like how I just went straight in with my question of the day thing and, and never actually got to the question of the day. But, then it curves down... Um, kind of like this. Well, we actually build this now. Uh, and then, actually, we'll cut that out. This part just took out more. Like that. It kind of slants down into that. That's probably about as good as I'm going to get for this type of scale of the build. Actually, let's go ahead and spice this up a little bit. So we're going to use the dark oak to trim in this part. What I could do, because I need to add some sort of lighting up here anyways, what I might do here is, um put glass behind all this that would look pretty cool i think like uh and then put glowstone on the glass inside the ship that way it kind of looks like there's the lights on the back i'm look the picture i'm looking at kind of has a similar deal going on so i might just make this whole back section glass except let's, 
Let's put like some sort of bear beam, maybe going across the middle here. Let's let's make that a thing and then kind of separate out the windows. And we'll also make the center part a beam too. Uh, just kind of make it clear what's going on here. So there's kind of like a cabin section here, like what it appears, and we'll we'll frame that in like this. Uh, make it stick out a little from the ship so you can tell it's there too. And like that, run that down. We'll end the that beam there. And we'll actually knock up that and put all the glowstone in right there. Let's close that up though for now. Uh, that way I don't mess anything up. So there's like a, the upper deck section here, which this kind of curves up into. But it's kind of hard to tell from what I'm looking at uh, where the deck is and where the cabin part is. So it looks like maybe on this back curve is about where the cabin part starts. So let's bring this up like this. We'll uh, frame this, the doorway in here with wood. So we'll make that start right there. So we can actually hollow out this part of the curve because I'm not going to need it anymore. And this should keep a pretty consistent shape because people are going to be inside here to the edge of the ship here. So we'll actually trim out a little bit of the excess there. And run that out to there. This out to here. And we'll bring the ceiling. Bring this in. Bring the ceiling down there. And should we bring the ceiling down? Yeah, let's go ahead and bring the ceiling down here. And cap it. And we'll curve it. It will have to curve just a smidge. So let's do it this way. Let's bring in the, the edge here about to there. And then we'll bring in the next layer down. It'll make for a little bit of an odd-shaped room inside. But that's what you got to deal with when you're on a ship anyway. So, all right. Let's trim a little bit of this excess here so it has a more curvy shape to it. Uh, might look a little nicer. All right, now I basically have to replicate that over here. So let's break out this. That's going to be the doorway, which we'll bring a block of wood out just to make it look a little better. So we'll put the doorway there to get into the cabin. And this goes out three. And it needs, by the way, if you have a suggestion that you want me to do in the next episode of IndieCraft, or maybe not in the next one, but maybe even in the next one after that, or whenever, go ahead and leave it in the comment section below right now. Basically, how this works, if you're new, uh, I'll read through the comments, pick whatever I think either... Uh, sounds most interesting for me to do or I think I can do the best that I'll be able to make look best in the town uh, it's usually usually comes down to not the quality of the suggestion but whether I actually think I'll be able to build it and not make it suck so which is, is saying something so all right this wall four and then two there so, so wait, wait two three four and two like that so no nah, that wasn't right no it's like that two stick out there and four stick out there like that and I don't think a piece is there is it oh well, maybe no I broke it off actually I like that piece because it, it definitely sets off the curve a little more so was it the bottom part yeah so that's gonna stick out like that and we'll make that stick out one more let's make this one stick out one more and that I kind of like how that wood looks right there I think it was unintentional when I was building the ship but I kind of like how it looks so let's go ahead and whack that on there and this side what, what have I done wrong here why does this side look different okay let's let's fix this up real fast so this side comes out like that and the bottom comes out one further and then this comes out ticks out one block yes yeah, I got one block okay I've done something wrong uh, on the other one of the sides here okay I believe I made this side wait wait I shouldn't be modifying this side this side should be fine like that I should be modifying the opposite side because this side I built second but I rebuilt this wrong so all right, we got four, two, one, four, two, one. All right, let's flip over here to the front side where things have <laughs> to look the best. Let's be honest. Okay, break that out and that out. That's all wrong. So that goes down, that goes down. This is going to be two uh, sticking out there. And there's a row that goes under. I actually had it right the first time. Then I changed it around over here because I thought I did it wrong. And I actually did it right the first time. So good job, me. All right, so we just got to bring it in right here bring it in like this and now all we got to do is put the floor in so put the floor in here uh, it doesn't really matter too much none of this is going to be visible so let's go ahead and grab out break up these logs here we can do this now uh go ahead and grab out some glowstone and we'll grab out some glass and just to give it the effect more maybe we'll even use some yellow glass to kind of Give it even a spicier gold effect. The ship is beautiful looking. Like, if nothing else, even if you don't want to watch the movie, um, definitely take a look at how this ship looks. It's beautiful ship. It's super beautiful. I don't know if the if they designed it like this for the movie or if the author actually made some like drawings of it that they went off of. Either way, 
it looks fantastic. So let's go ahead and cut that up a little, make it a little nicer. All right, it actually looks like a face. All right, let's do it this way. Then it'll look like a creeper. Uh, put that in. Reverse. Oh, there, now it looks like a creeper. That's awesome. Oh, I should, I should change the window a little bit here too. Uh, bring it in. There we go. Yeah, the windows on the back are creeper face. Oh, genius, genius. Okay. Uh, we should probably do here just to make this look a little more interesting. Uh, put a window in here. Put a window in here. They look a little odd to say the least, but it'll it'll spice up the a little more. So to say, nothing, if nothing else, so we'll make this the top deck right here. So we'll go all the way out to the edge of the doors, and like that. Good, good. And I feel like I've curved in a little too soon here. So let's break out this and make this wall actually come down like so. And we'll do the same on the other side now, so I don't mess it up. This is gonna be a pretty long episode, I think, because like I kind of. I, I may have I may have gone too big. I may have gone a little too big to, uh, to make this a feasible episode, but that's all right. It's We're getting near the end of the season where we need to really start doing some awesome builds to pull the town together. So that's the kind of stuff I'm looking for, things to really spice up the town and really, really pull it together. You see, one of my issues right now with the town, and I've, done, I've made it a little better recently uh, in the last 10 episodes or so, we've combined these areas. So this kind of all looks like one piece now. I still got a fence in the farm area and maybe even dome it, so it's like a biodome, but... You know, got the nuclear reactors out there. I feel like we've done a pretty good job, though, of uh, of chunk errors. We've done a pretty good job of massive chunk errors. What's that we're going to dive into? Oh, we can't. We can't. Oh, well. Let's just get out of here. Get out of the chunk error. Uh, load? Nope. We're still dealing with chunk errors. Guys, Minecraft 1.8.1. 1. No, just 1.8. But still dealing with chunk errors. Uh, this is a first world problems moment, I believe. So, let's break out this, give, make the bottom look a little better here. There we go. And that looks a lot nicer. Give it more curve to it. Give it a little more life. Life! I made life! Alright, let's bring out the deck here. Uh, we'll make it get a little more wide going back. Uh, kind of go out to the uh, upper deck, which is much wider. So, we'll make it come back, get wider up to here probably. And then bring it up. We'll keep it the same width out to here. Maybe we'll make... The, do I want to make the back? I kind of want to make the back a little wider. But I don't want to... I, I just tear apart all that room. We might just go with it as it is. Because for the sake of time uh, on this episode, we might leave it as is. Because we have... We are not nearly completed with this build. Um, and we have... I have lots more I want to do with it to make it look great. So... And hopefully I'll be able to do all that. So... I, I want it to, to look fantastic. Because I like the ship. So... And hopefully I can give it... A representation that's worthy. All right, let's bring out this. Uh, we'll go ahead. Yeah, we'll, we'll bring. We'll, we'll start from the top here. Actually, actually, let's stop uh, that. Stop that craziness that I was just doing. All right, let's go ahead and make this all dark oak before we get any further. So, uh, change all the trim out here to dark oak, and I'll probably go ahead and build up a railing too on the ship that's all dark oak. And I think the mast. I don't know what it is in the picture. I can't really see that close up, but I, I think the mast would probably look better in dark oak uh, just from how I'm building it. it would look better. I don't know if it actually is dark or if it's the more lighter color wood that's used frequently on this build, but okay, I don't know if I like this for the railing or not. I'll have to come back to that and see, but for now, let's just not do it, and we'll see how it looks. I feel like it needs a railing down here at this dipped part, and I may have dipped a little too far um, in it, but, you know, it's fine. It'll, it'll work. It's all coming together. This this trim is making the build look absolutely spicy. So let's put that in like so. Uh, maybe we'll wrap it around like that. Put the dark with the oak in there. We want. I want this build to look really cool. So I, I aim to please with this build. So all right, looking good. All right, we're gonna bring down the top part here. Top part there. Top part there. All right, top part there. Uh, yeah, I think I got the curve about where I want it to be. So we'll bring down this one more, I think. And then we'll bring it in down here to this level. Um, this can all keep on coming down, I think. Yeah, we'll tie that in. We'll even link it in right back here into there. Uh, we definitely need a railing up on the top section here, going down into the bottom. That is a must. Uh, hopefully that'll give it a little more, a little more shape too, just to give it a better feel even. So. Even better feel than we already are achieving, of course. So, there we go. Let's close it off. Let's get back, <laughs> finally, to the question, question of, the of the day. day. 
if you've stuck around this long, feel free to leave in the comment section down below a question for me. Uh, kind of like I did back in Season 1, you guys leave a new question, and you answer my question. Next episode, I'll answer your question and leave you a new question. We go back and forth, and it's a lot of fun, and it's a great way to get to chat with people. So, alright, it looks like this would be about the point, actually. I kind of forgot about this part, what I was doing here. Uh, this would be about the point here, where I need to uh, start transitioning to the regular oak. Uh, so we'll do it right here. Uh, that way you can actually see the transition on a midsection. I don't want to do it when I cut in, because I'm about to cut in right here, like that, and I don't want to do it right there. Alright, let's bring that in, and yeah, bring you out too. Like that, yeah, okay, cool. So we want to keep it dark all the way around on this level, so the best way to do this, this is a little, it's a little funky how we're doing this build, to be honest, so uh, how I've done this build, not, it's, it's, you are not responsible for my weirdness of how I built this. All right, I've done some things. I've done some things a little different, but it is working out, thank goodness. And you're actually able to see the design of the ship, which just looks pretty cool. It's, this ship looks looks pretty darn cool, to say the least. So, all right, the curve it kind of stays dark pretty consistently like this. Now oh, that that has to come out, I think. And then we'll bring that out, bring this out, and like that. And there we go. I think that looks pretty good. Um, what I'm gonna do? It has. We could use gold. It's got like lines going through it. Maybe I'll use the birch for this. Kind of like accent. It's got like these like uh, lines going through it. These beams. And I don't know how exactly I'd want to do them. To be honest. So I might go ahead. I don't know how I want to do it. Um, the, the wood changes a little bit as it goes up on the ship. I just realized. Like this, the dark oak has a pretty strong curve to it itself. Which I think I've done uh, probably more unintentionally than intentionally. But let's go ahead and do that to make it a little curve, just a tad more. There we go. It, it roughly has the shape of the ship um, from Treasure Planet. So we can we got to stick the giant engine on the back here still, which I don't know what that engine really looks like to be honest. But we'll have to we'll we'll mix me up. I think let's just mix me up. Let's go for it. All right, let's go ahead and grab out some andesite, some polished andesite maybe for this. That way it I think it matches the style um, of the show. At least, if nothing else. So this is a pretty gigantic engine, um, but or not only an engine, but a giant jet rocket thing that propels the ship. Holy crap! Yes, every ship should have this. So we'll make this come out all the way to the edge of this wood here, and I think, um, because I don't think it's gonna be very visible, is it? If I, no, it won't be. All right, let's break that out, and then we'll just change those out. No one's really gonna see these that well. Anyways, it'll look it'll look more natural this way uh, from the outside of the ship, which is what's important. It's what's on the outside that matters, guys. Don't ever let anyone tell you otherwise. Okay, so we use the andesite. Let's go ahead and change to something like iron blocks for the rest of this thing. So, uh, like I said, representative build here. You know, this engine is ginormous, so I can't do much better than what I'm about to do. Uh, at least I don't have the talent to. Um, if if nothing else, someone could do better. I know someone could do better, but. I'm having fun. It's my show, gosh dang it. Alright. Bring that up to maybe there. Looks good. And then we'll have this thing kind of flame out. See if we can make it look a bit flamey. Flamey. Alright. Like so. We'll bring that down. Oh, yeah, we'll make the bottom one even come out more. Let's make the bottom bottom and top come out more. To give it a little, little random A. Random S. Alright. And... I mean, you come out two more, actually. Uh, we'll, be, we'll put a core on two. And make it come out the most. There we go. We got a giant um, a fire coming out. That way the ship does not get caught on fire. Okay. Looking pretty good. We haven't done the sails yet. And the other side of the ship is pretty bare compared to this side of the ship. So, yeah. It's, it's just terrible looking, actually. So. Alright. How did I do this? We gotta... I wanna make sure this looks good, so... Uh, it might be a bit of a process here, so this is the three, and then two right under, one in. So three, and then two right under, one in. All right, this next row of four goes four, four, two, and then bring it in. So four, four. Looks like I kind of follow the shape. I follow the shape of the ship pretty well. So time set zero. Don't want to look at that anymore. All right, this set of two is two, two, two with the regular oak on the bottom set. Two, two. Two. Looking good. Just want to make sure we have the exact shape here because I don't want it to look goofy. 
All right, this is, uh, this is, we'll do all the way back to here. We'll do, so five, five, four with the oak on the right. So five, five, four with the oak on the right. So five, five, one, two, three, four, oak there. All right, how exactly did this look right here? All right, we got four, one, three, one. All right, so cut right over here. So this is all brought in one. One, two, three, one, and this was, wait, how did, I, how did this look? It's different, isn't it? It's different on this side, right? Did I just, what's the shape different? I started from here, starting from here, we go one, two, three, four, five, and then a row two, all brought in. Well, that's the easier, easier way to look at it, okay. So starting from here, one, two, three, four, five, and then the two, there we go. All right, almost done with this. We got the sails, ah, falling from the sky. All right, that looks goofy. You have to go, sir. You have to go. Uh, it's supposed to look like it's kind of coming out of the ship. And maybe what I'll do is add... Two, three... This, it has a bit of a slant right here. That looks much better, actually. We'll have to do that on the other side. Gotta remember to do that on the other side now. Alright, let's take a look at uh, this part here on the other side. This, this, the up slant. It goes all the way down to this level. Except it's got the two oak there, so over here so two oak and that's all that all right now let's see the slant that I just built over here to make sure this looks accurate okay we got from the midsection here we got two four three two one so two four three two one under that oak so from the midsection here so so right here we got two and then four that was five. Three, two, one. I think I get, that'll get covered up. Uh, I think I did something wrong here. So, I, I think I'd bring that bottom part in, actually. So, the bottom is you get the four across the middle section here. Got it. And then the next level up, it goes out one on the right side and then stays level in on the inside. So, here we go, like that. And I think this is where I needed to start the curve in right there. So... I did that, I did this, did I bring that out one actually? I, I think I might have done that on the same level, didn't I? No, I brought that one, okay. So, no I didn't, no I didn't. This is um, the row of four, and then the row of five. So, this, row of four, row of five. Okay, from that row of five, up a level, and add one to the uh, uh, side on the turbine, so. Five, so up a level and add one here and that goes up and slant in a boom okay I think that's the slant now we gotta figure out how the dark oak kind of blends in with that mess there so I think I got those two pieces there uh, let's make the dark oak change change it a little bit here and I think these two pieces look a little goofy personally I'm gonna go ahead and take those out that way it looks has a little more separation here all right so uh, we got two three three Two, three, up, two, one. Two, three, up, two, one. Wait, where did I start from? Starting from the edge here. Two, three, up, two, one. So two. Alright, start from this edge. Two, three, up, two, and then one. Like that. And I guess that I covered that this entire section with oak. I did, yeah. And that looks bad. Let's let's close that off like that, and close that off like that. This entire section, I guess, is covered with the dark oak on either side. Looks good. We'll fill that in because I don't think that stripe looks very good personally. Let me actually, actually, doesn't look that bad. Kind of mixes it up a little, changes the colors up a little bit. All right, that looks very good. Let's go ahead and add in. I mentioned it earlier. Uh, when you do some accent here. So we'll do, starting from here, we'll run a strip of the birch back to here. And we'll do the same on the other side. So that way we have a little more, little more going on in this build to make it look a little nicer. So when did I, what point did I curve up here? I curved up right, two blocks from the edge here. So there, and there, and there. There we go. That gives it a little more on the sides. Let's go ahead and not make it connect, though, because that looks a little weird. Like, there. Yeah, now it's more contained. 
Okay, the ship has four sails, which might be really, really hard to fit on here, but I'll do my best. So we'll run, run off the back here. And they have a very unique shape. So this it's going to be a tough one to build, but we'll give it a shot. All right, they kind of stick here, like on the post, and then go back very vertically. Um, it's kind of hard to explain. They're very different looking, so... Go ahead and give it a little more curve here. All right, and that's probably good enough. This is actually a small, a small sail. I don't think it needs to be that big, personally, because this is not. Uh, if it's that big, the other ones are gonna have to be ginormous, which will make it look really out of proportion with the rest of the ship. Okay, I'm bringing you out. He, actually, let's try to curve this a little bit. So you, you, and out like this. I think is that how I want to do it? That looks really crappy. Um, I need to go across like that. I'll give it more of the right shape. All right, so this back and then this back, and we'll go ahead and run it back one more. I think maybe get a little more vertical on the last bit here. That way, we have a little more height. All right, like this, and then down over down through. There we go. Did I ever do the question, question of the day? I think I've totally forgotten the question of the day. Like, twice now. This is terrible. Goodness gracious. Oh my gosh. The question, question of, of the day. day. I mean, give it until this point so no one's going to hear it. All right. There we go. Let's make it kind of... I don't like that. Let's make this kind of the center. We can kind of pick out the center from it. There we go. One sail. One sail completed. And then that was the easy one, actually. So next one kind of comes up on the deck here. And your favorite favorite childhood game, um, or maybe just favorite game of all time even would do, you know. So what would that be for you? Um, I'm torn on this one, actually, because it's got to be either... The original StarCraft. Ooh. Or Shining Force. Um, you know, I don't know which one, but they're both very good games, and I, I don't know how to pick between them even. So, uh, if you haven't played either of those games, you have not really played games in your life yet. So, you gotta, you gotta get out there and live a little bit, guys. So, they're both really good games, to the least. So, I love them a lot, but... Yeah, I don't know which one I picked to be my favorite of all time. So if you got a question you want to leave me, go ahead and leave it in the comment section below right now. And I might just answer it next episode. But if I like, if I want to. So that would be fun. It'd be fun. That's that's the idea. Alright, bring this up here and we'll make it actually get level at the end there. That and actually we won't. We won't. We'll make it all down level. All down level. That way. No. Bad rain. Bad rain interfering with my build. Okay. There we go. Curve you out. And this one up three. Like this. And I can come up at the end there actually a little bit more. And maybe we'll bring that curve in a little bit. That way it looks a little more natural. Looks a little weird as is. As it was there. So you came out to here. And I'll make the back part come out just a little more here at the top. I want to actually have a curve to it. Uh, so, yeah, it's a little difficult to do in Minecraft, but, alright, we'll actually give this one a little curve, too. Uh, maybe up, up with that part. Like that, yeah, there we go. Alright, ah, uh, this one here. So, you came out on this side, like this. This one here. Oops. Like that. Oh, uh, wait, wait, I did spin wrong here. So, down two. Down three. And, whoa, 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 I messed up here. This goes out like that more. And, yeah, that would be, we'll do like this, break that point. And that all has to go. This, and then, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, at least. And down. Like that. All right, sail two is in place. They look a little weird on those pillars, not going to lie. Okay, two more. Uh, the one here and the one right by the hook. 
It's going to be a little hard to fit here. Um, ooh, ooh, ooh. Awkwardness from the front. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Something has gone horribly wrong here. So, um, I guess my dimension's off, I guess. Uh, we can, we can just ignore it and say it's the sails flapping in the wind, right? There we go. I think it's a little better. Uh, might not be perfect still, but whatever. Alright, I might, I don't know, I might, I might have trouble fitting the last sail on here, is the thing. So, I might, it might not look that good for the last sail, but that's alright. Alright, last post here. And this one, we'll, we'll bring up higher than the rest, because it's actually the biggest sail of them all. One sail to rule them all. One sail to find them. Okay, how do we want to do this? So up, two, three, one, two, three, one, one, two, one, over, and done. Okay, that might be a little too big, but I'm uh, not sure exactly how I'm going to make this work, but I'll find a way. Uh, this is going to be really tough to make this work at all. So, all right, well, it might, it might look weird. It probably will look weird, but it'll it'll be done, and... We can look up in the sky from the bottom of the ship and think it looks really cool. Uh, and that's the best angle to look at this ship, probably. Alright, there we go. Bring you all up like this. And we'll bring out the center section here. Make it go up and out like we've kind of been doing. There we go. And then I would just start curving it in. So It's it's a long process, but it's not too hard. Thank goodness, because I would fail so badly at it if it was hard. So, I don't know exactly... The best way to it, making these curves like this is not like the easiest thing in the world to do so it's like curve and a game made of squares was not made for curves i kind of feel like if i just like ran this out like this maybe give it a little bit more like this and i know it's bad to change your my sale style halfway through but like i feel like if i just kind of went out a little rougher here probably and did this, keep writing it out, like this, and bring you in maybe, bring that out, that probably looks, yeah, even like that, which was a lot easier, looks tons better than mine do, at, because they look more like the ship actually has, except this needs to come out a little more, but, and they kind of overlap each other now, which is cool, okay, okay, getting somewhere now, and good. All right, got to duplicate that on this side. So this all comes out. What? Do that layer first, and then go back. So one, one, two. It's pretty. It's pretty fast to actually make it, but the process of duplicating it. That's that's the process because you actually got to pay attention when you do that. Whereas when I build, usually there's no paying attention. I can just kind of throw blocks around randomly. All right, there we go. That section's done. Now the larger section, make this sticks out here. Okay, so that goes out to there. And there we go. Okay, this will be almost the last sail on the ship. And actually, like the last part of the ship, pretty much, too. Except for the final sail, of course, will be the fat, the final part of the ship. So, alright, how does this happen here? It goes out to here. And to there. Cuts into, like that. This part comes out like this, and that sail's done. Okay, the last sail, and the last sail, yeah, the last sail comes up right at this hook here. And it's a pretty small one, and I think I'll barely be able to squeeze it in here, uh, which is good. It's good because they are, on the ship, they are actually pretty tight, so, which is good. They're, like, right next to each other, so. That's actually my, uh, I don't want it to attach, actually. So we'll bring this all out, and kind of just going to do the same thing I did up there on that other, the, one, the big one we just made, because I think it looked pretty nice doing it like that, with the curve and everything, and the parts sticking out like it kind of had, so, and that comes out, well, we will make it touch, actually, so, I changed my mind about the, not, I said it wasn't going to touch, but I, I changed my mind, because I wanted it to come out that far, and there we go, that can break, all these center parts can break, which doesn't speak terribly wrong here. Uh, I, I, oh, gosh darn. This whole side's actually a little jacked up, huh? but whatever. Gotta, gotta rebuild that side. Fortunately, it's a tremendously small sail uh, that's barely fitting on this thing. So. so there we go. Let's go ahead and break a few random blocks here on the deck. Uh, and they might not look the greatest, but we do need to have some lighting up here so that we don't have mobs coming around, like mobs everywhere. So 
and we can actually see it from the ground better too this way so we'll break out a spot here and we'll put a piece of glowstone there and all you gotta do is cover that up like that and no light won't come through that way actually that kind of works that kind of works we'll put that there that way you can see some light coming through um, even still without actually having to suffer the light itself because um, the glowstone wouldn't look very good from the ground on this ship so there we go wrong block so there we go get some light coming right at the cloud level here looks pretty sweet to say the least so there we go and wood so there we go guys from the ground let's see how it looks from the ground that's always my test if, if I like how it looks from the ground actually it looks fantastic from the ground I really like that look at that oh my goodness it's a great addition uh, the Enterprise is getting jacked up by clouds, but here, let's go to video settings. Where are clouds? Off. There we go. Much nicer. So we're going to be seeing it from the ground most of the time anyways. So, oh my gosh, I'm really happy we, we did the space builds, so the uh, air sky builds, whatever we want to call them. I think they really added a lot to this season, making the builds look pretty cool. So let's go ahead and put some glowstone uh, in up on these sails so we don't have mobs coming everywhere. Actually, if we put them on the points, they might look pretty cool. And actually look pretty natural uh, because how they look, how these sails are shaped. So let's go ahead and add some out of points on this one too. Uh, add some glowstone. So these are various locations here. There we go. Maybe me might bring put a pokey put a pokey there and a pokey there. Alrighty, got some. This one's plenty lit, I think. Maybe we needs a bit going on right down here so we'll add some glowstone on to each of these spots so if you if you're very OCD I'm sorry these uh, sails are not the most perfectly shaped uh, or symmetrical but you know if they're blowing to the wind they wouldn't look that symmetrical anyways but there we go I feel like we've done a pretty good representation of the ship you can I think if you knew what treasure planet was you can tell it's the ship from treasure planet so or a ship from treasure planet I should say so I like how it looks a lot. I think it's a pretty sweet addition to the sky, especially when you're down here at the town. Uh, you know, taking a, when you're a visitor to the town, you know, and you're you're in here chilling out at the inn and take about to take to sleep, which there's no beds in here, unfortunately. So you get up distracted and you see this giant ship floating overhead and uh, you realize your impending doom. So there you go, guys. Hope you all enjoyed this episode of IndieCraft. It's a very long one. So hope you all, if you have, remember to pound the like button down below and show your support on this series. As always, remember to subscribe to join the team so you don't miss out on more episodes of IndieCraft every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and all the other videos that come out every single day. So, thanks, and I will see you all in the next episode. So, bye-bye. Whee! Treasure Planet. Cool ship.